Greetings everyone, Ajon here with a 3v3. Spawn top right side as the Magenta Empire player. And that's just straight up purple, not magenta. We have Aurora. Spawn the middle side as the green allied player. We have God of War. Spawn the south side as the blue Soviet player. We have Bodo. Spawn the left side as the orange empire. We have Killabear. Spawn the left side as the blue allied player who was random. We have Pika. Spawn the north side as the red allied player. We have Old. He's old. This is going to be very hard for me to cast because 3v3s, they get so much chaos in there. I will not be able to cover everything. Maybe this one a few times perhaps to try to reach out to another cast or perhaps we all cover, like, try to separate angles sort of thing. I'm assuming it's team left side versus team right side. Dogs are coming on in. Supported by bears. Or just getting double team. Would you guys slice there? Engineer will get killed off by a bear. Which is really good. And he sold off the instant dojo. He still has an instant dojo here. He perhaps should keep Imperial Warrior here and send the Engineer from way over here. Here comes the Engineer. But more bears coming on in. This could be another uh, Engineer Snipe here. This is going to be another Engineer Snipe. There's two bears here and one Imperial Warrior for defense. Oh, he spotted it. Up north, this Oyo Derek has not been claimed either. There is an engineer here, however. This oil derrick has been claimed by red. And there's a blue vindicator support. And green dog scouting ar around. The green dog. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. No roar. Oh. I, the roar may have been on cooldown. That would have been. If he would have got all those guys, he probably could have got the kill on all of them. The oil derrick has been claimed to use a sudden transport to guarantee its capture. Blue has re redeployed as uh, MCV over here. Which... I'm not sure why he deployed one there. I'm not sure about the plan about that. It's a weird, weird spot to say the least. Purple is deploying an instant dojo in his opponent's base, but there's two laser block javelins here. Might as well sell them off. I heard the Imperial Warrior. The Imperial Warrior is charging up forward. Gets a kill. Double kill. And does get taken out there. So, very nice little pick in there. Both indicators may do match land. There's a large number of javelin troops on the field. Blue is. Pumping out some dogs, let's take out one with the Peacekeeper. Does get a bark there. Blue, take out one of the Indicators coming from bottom run. Does focus all of spawns one target. Dog will get cleaned up. In this infantry advance, will go down. A heroic Peacekeeper as well. And full Jack Tengu's flying around. Up north, we've got a pair of red Apollos uh, hovering around here. And they have spotted this uh, or, uh, or refinery being deployed. Multi-gun occurred here. It should be killed off by the uh, Tsunami piece. The second multi-gun occurred. Look at the red is eyeing for our uh, turret push. Double stacking his walls. And it looks like uh, Purple's going to pull out some, to pull out some walls. Up north, we've got a dolphin engaging with the, the generator. Just handling one dolphin's force and response can be quite annoying. Bear guns go down by Vindicator Bombs. Orange has a huge swell of uh, jet tangles. Handful of strike with the X's. He needs to some wave force artillery. Of course, he needs mainframe core for that. 
Baloo has deployed his super reactor down south on his teammate's base. Sentry gun covering the bulk of his, uh... What's it called? Uh, refineries there. He does pick up the green indicator there. Cyan, Bullfrog, which is way up north, trying to engage. He needs some tank busters here. Stun keeps trying to engage at close range as they actually hit the nano uh, score. Another multi gunner turret being deployed on down. And here goes, here's some uh, tank busters. Tank busters are, of course, much more effective than buildings. Over here, Jack Tinkles are supporting out, trying to hit that command hub. Does engage the uh, Apollo the Vindicator, does take it down. Old Frogs from the uh, engage, does take out another of the Apollo's the Jack Tinkles. And the Apollo's going to be taking out the last of the Jack Tinkles. Blue is joining the turret pushing front. And this uh, old Tractor did go down. Red does have some defenses here and there. Cyan's pushing forward with some Bullfrog, Twin Blade. Does take out one of the Apollos there. The Vindicator is getting hit quite significantly and focusing down on the ground. And Terradrome popped out from or was already there. Going straight for the refinery. Perhaps could meet the Bullfrogs and Hammerhead to hit this uh, airfield. A North turret push. Not being all too successful, honestly. Red is getting his infrastructure quite hit quite hard. So at this point up here, maybe get out some hydrofoils and some kind of assault destroyers. In fact, here's an uh, ACV and a assault destroyer. He's hit that hammerhead. Actually, will crush the uh, bullfrog there. In the mid, there's a handful of turrets here by red and blue. Tsunami tanks and strikers moving their way forward. There is a defensive uh, multi gun turret. And there is a. Wait. Okay, there's the Terra Drone. I was wondering, where was that Terra Drone? In the middle, we have a huge green uh, infantry army. And I'm surprised that Jet Tango did not go down. And there's actually, ooh, these uh, blue Vindicators get intercepted. But there is a number of Striker VXs, VXs on the ground. Magenta is putting in some more infantry as well. There's going to be a huge wave of infantry coming from the team's right side. Come to the blue uh, forward position. Javelin missiles coming out of the down. He doesn't find an angle on the uh, lower refinery. It does go down. Crow shot. It's basic crow shot coming in there. Motogana Turret is firing against the uh, Tsunami Tank. Motogana Turret does go down. Lose position is very, very precarious. Marines Assault Insurance Company is one support the Scions and the Hammerhead. Hammerhead is left. Team left side's base is being cracked. Moon does have a good number of infantry here, but they're getting oh, not being micro popping engaged these pink busters. Good dodge there. Good base for, uh, Striker slash uh, Chopper VXs. Marines infantry, Blues Hammerhead. There's the basic cryo blast going for it. It is being tied up there. No thing gets frozen there, but does get crushed. Cr cr two Hammerheads and some infantry. But a Blues Conyard is likely going to go down. Does uh, put the drone, but does not save it. These things are severely wounded. Not very good bomb splitting there. Green's arms pushing his way forward. Blue only has an airfield. He crashed with tap and the barracks. He does have the barracks there. So he may want to eye tapping us sooner rather than later so he gets his allies' income. Hammerheads uh, coming for a crush. They do a pretty good job of that. He's a javelin troop to get these hammerheads. Red even threw in a Apollo on his teammate's airfield. Red's base is pretty much cracked as well. But actually, Blue does have a naval dockyard up north. Javelin troops being brought on in. He's being a famous rally. Emperor's Wrath on top of the uh, 
Hammerhead or a Rage. I'm not sure which one's the weakest for. Rage coming in across for crushing those walls. This prospect will escape on out there. He's probably going to eye for this refinery. Red's infantry coming, coming up to some of these uh, luck people. Uh, forgot about three infantry. Green's the MCB's pushing forward, trying to eye perhaps for the fighting location or perhaps a current push. Let's get spotted out by Orange, and there's another King Busters here as well as a Striker BX. Up north, Red and Blue's joint base is being seen by Hammerhead Kings, but there's a number of Soul Destroyers here as well as the Wolf Gutter Turrets. One radar jamming or gun jamming Hydro Foils in the area. And Scion's uh, Tesla Core is placing uh, over the mountain shots as well. Ooh, there's the Hammerhead, or not Hammerhead, uh, Terror Drone there. He's now to both using the layers about to destroy out that location. And Blue's command hub was completed, and so is this one. But does he have the income to deploy out our refinery? Blue is still in this game, and he has good economic ex opportunities. He has deployed our power plant there. Could sell his naval dockyard if he needs more money. Red's deploying out some aircraft here just now. They made me go for... Ooh, EMP missile. Let's get another of the hammerheads. They may need to go for mass uh, in the air just to shoot down those all those aircraft. Green and Science pushing orange now. MCB cannot crush a assault destroyer, but gets snared and infected by some paradromes. He does have a small amount of time there. Red's uh, moving on turret is being trial blasted. Does get frozen as well as the generator. Blue is sending out a combat engineer. Does get taken out there by that Wolf Gun turret. This Wolf Gun turret has not gone down. Does get destroyed there. The MCB is still alive. Going for the terror drone. Does stop the uh, snare. He's going to need to pull out an instant dojo to get some repairs. Ooh, he's get out of there. I thought you could... Can, can you still deploy when you're infected like that? Maybe not. He's going... He's limping towards his uh, d dojo. Oh, body blocked by his own... Uh, hammerhead. Not hammerhead. Tsunami tank. And the uh, ladybug, ladybug, ooh, barely makes it. And he has a dojo here. He's a wild engineer to get instant repairs. Oh, there was a spy. A spy just claimed himself an aircraft carrier. And he's going straight for the command center. I forget. Spy command center. What does that do again? The green aircraft carrier does go down. And all of those uh, ACBs go down. Ooh. But here comes the basic satellites. Does take out the prospector. Orange is starting to recover. And he's actually making a uh, counterattack. Naval dockyard, reactor, looks like a torch train for Cyan. Blue has two refineries here, enough, and two food camps. He needs out some more javelin troops, but they're getting crushed. He's cr going camping out the barracks, and both these... No, only one that's heroic. He must have a garage somewhere, I think, for repairs. I don't know. Is this going to be selling out those barracks? Is it going to be blowing out a multi gun turret? He could garrison the multi gun turret. Ooh, cryo get him. Oh! He has not reacted. He has not reacted. Oh, he froze some of his own infantry there, but he can clean up all that green infantry. 
and that he still has a spy effective, which I think either jams radar or gives him chair radar. Now I'm thinking about it. There's a elite red aircraft carrier. The already many cells are engaging. Could try suicide bombing. He does not get suicide bomb off the one he's charging. Does get two there. Does suicide bomb it now. Ooh, and cleans itself another aircraft carrier. The elite one. And that spy does redisguise. Ooh. Not even that you see a spy play like that. Or at all. Playing an elite aircraft carrier. It does take up the oil refinery as well. Blue still has three. Red has two. Actually, yeah, that, that was refinery. Refining. Or captured aircraft carrier will go down. This must be some sort of graphical bug at this point. Oh, looks like uh, Orange had a instant generator uh, infiltrated. Or. Or just say they're grabbing themselves a striker VX and a a chopper VX and find himself another chopper VX. Ooh, and this one he hasn't realized there's another one. Oh wait, I thought there was another spy somewhere. Maybe not. And he does escape the whole offense, taking out that prospector. Red and blue are still in it, but they're quite wounded. Blue has a now massive infantry uh, wave. Mostly just peacekeepers, though. They start to crack the central green base. And now this number of this infantry is fully heroic. I mean, almost all the peacekeepers are fully heroic. Crowd coppers, there's a lot of them, but they need a, it's hard to split them all up sometimes. And another javelin troops are quite better as well. This is an elite uh, heroic force, I'm just gonna call it that. Orange coming to support as well. Handful of striker VXs and jet tank and full mecha tanks. Now from north, we've got ACVs now running on in. That is a lot of dolphins. Is our spies to go along with it? Oh, jumping out of the. Uh, this is a very big tier one force. You already need to support the old golf as well. There's a lot of firepower, cheap firepower here. Endorse that, uh, dodge that, uh, cryo get it. Has split up his forces quite a bit there. Worried about splash damage from the dolphins. Nice to Ooh, that Yorick Moon sent him some quick splash damage with that, that uh, suicide run. The Roar of Yorick is not, he's not going to be able to charge him there, takes out all the ACVs. Red, his base is just cracked. He does save his uh, construction yard there. Blue's making a large infantry advance. Green space is his central ba uh, forward base here did get cracked. He still has his backup infrastructure here, but he doesn't really have a whole lot that screams power. This infantry offer screams a lot of power. The sentry gun was taken out by the javelins. Blue space has been cracked. He still has his income here. And it's MCV here, so he's not completely out of it. Or trying to push his way forward, but ugh, he's losing quite a bit there. Apollo is still raining on in. Yep, uh, Orange's force is largely destroyed. So has a handful of tsunamis here. But 
none. There's just too many ACDs. Blue's uh, infantry arm is not coming forward. Uh, perhaps they could. Vindicator goes down. Vindicator just can't deal with all the javelin troops. Perhaps a good crowd getting from either side. Here, here comes the crowd getting. And he has not reacted. That entire force is frozen. Green should be able to clean up this assault, no problem. Horns come on in, which may save a handful of the elite infantry. It does save the elite infantry. And now Emperor's Rage has come forward. Let's take a pink plus that honorable discharge. Power generator for blue in the middle of orange's face. Did I just... Okay, that was that was machine gun fire. I thought I heard the uh, cash thing uh, for the spies. Mirage tanks. One elite, one uh, veteran. Three Mirage tanks here. That's a lot of firepower. But he does not have range to deal with this uh, dockyard. But the Javelin troops do. And the Mirage tanks camouflage. He can't crush the Javelins because of those Mirage tanks. And does take out that dockyard. That camouflage actually did something. But then again, I suppose shooting would have done something as well. The heroic dock does go down. He could repurpose uh, reposition this dolphin to get some good splash damage. The blues dockyard does stay alive. Blues MCB is actually right here now. I think this was Pink Plus a surprise. Looks like a uh, purple. Is that purple? No, that looks like that's blues power is low. Magenta's tsunami keeps coming on board. Cryogen does come forward, splitting Green's army. And freezing some upcoming infantry as well. And there's actually a Tesla trooper in that. There, another Cryogen coming on board. Magenta's sprinting his way forward. Orange Force seems a bit more effective at the moment. Up north, I'm not sure what's up north. Mirage tanks are still alive, or at least new ones. There could be a heroic one of these guys. Oh, I can't select. There's at least one elite. Again, coming forward, we'll consider one of the uh, prison tanks, Mirage tanks. Mirage tanks are close, pretty effective for infantry. And we've got a up gun, bolt gun turret here. Ooh, we got the uh, time war. Depending which version it is, it's probably the short one. There we go, he has covered, now he's able to push on forward. Emperor's Rage on the on his allies. He made surgical strike, he comes on in, getting some good hits. But the Emperor's Rage is making a difference, another surgical strike. Shrunken MCB. And it's a lot of javelin troops here. I think Red can use the MCB. Red has nothing less. He needs to tap out, give his, a teammate all of his income and structures. Yeah, Red has nothing. He needs to tap out. Iron Curtain coming on out for a Cyan. Prospector. I'm not sure why he's staying in the game. Because he's just giving, storing a bunch of income to do nothing with it. And he's in the need to order to try to go for crushes for those uh, good uh, shrinks preventing the crushes. So he does have a large number of pure warriors here, but these ACBs are problematic. And it looks like the team left side just goes ahead and surrendered out. 
This is Adrian saying thank you for watching and signing off.